you and your wife have this incredible relationship. Yeah. Everyone talks about you and Sarah Michelle Gellar being, you know, relationship goals. You just celebrated your 20th wedding anniversary, right? I think we're past 20 now. I think, I think we it, just hit 21. Oh, really? I think we hit 21 and we've been together I thought it was like just 20. I don't know. That's <laughs> a long time. Even, I thought it was just 20. This, I'm a guy. I don't, I don't remember that stuff. I'm, well, it's, it's a long time, especially like 20 years in Hollywood is like I've, 150 years in real life. Yeah, but dates just aren't a bit like I forgot last year's birthday until I saw it on Instagram. Oh. And someone was like, my birthday, not hers. Oh, okay. My birth, my own birthday. I was like, oh, damn. And then I said, I'm 46. And Sarah said, no, you're 47, you dumbass. <laughs> like, so I'm just not, I'm not that guy. My, my mind is. Isn't, isn't on that stuff. What's the secret to what you guys have done? How have you made it work? We get asked that all the time, yeah. man. There's no answer. There, there really isn't. I could, you know, BS you and, 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 you know, give you something to clip, but it wouldn't even be truthful. Like you're either, you're either both trying to make it work or you're not. And if you're both trying to make it work, you're good to go. Mm -hmm. And if you're still in a, in a point in your life where you need to be selfish, and I don't mean selfish in a bad way, where you need to be selfish to accomplish your goals that you set out for yourself, not your bosses, yours, which are even bigger than that, or to go after your dreams. There is a level of selfishness that must exist. And if you got married before you accomplished that and you can't give as much as they do, then it's either, oops, you're bad, yeah. or you ask them to sacrifice and when you get to where you need to be, then you'll sacrifice for them. Mm -hmm. And I've seen relationships like that work beautifully. People that have been together as long as Sarah and I. And she worked so he could go to college and, and she worked three jobs and he got a great job in finance. And now he busts his ass and she gets to pursue her dreams. Mm -hmm. And they, like I said, double decade relationship. And that was a sacrifice. I've seen other people who, who said, listen, I got into this situation and I, I shouldn't have, and I, I think we need to get a divorce because I can't give you what you need. Mm. I can't give you what you deserve, right? He was very smart the way he, he, he's, he expressed himself in, in asking for a divorce. But it wasn't like, I hate you. It was, I have to be alone in order to accomplish this, and I can't be the man that, that you need me to be. Yeah. And they got a, a, a healthy divorce, and she didn't take him to the cleaners. So it was, <laughs> it was amicable, which never happens. So there's ways to make, make it work, but it, you know, if you're not ready, don't get married. Like, that's the best advice I could give someone. If you're not where you want to be, and you know what it takes to get there, then you know what it takes to get there. And there's a, like, listen to any modern rap song. You know what I mean? Like, they're telling you, but it's not in an insulting way. Yeah. It's, it's not crapping on anything. It's like, yo, I'm about money. I'm about getting to where I want to be, and I don't have time for relationships. Yeah. That's a very honest, straightforward, not rude, not disrespectful point of view. They're, they're literally being more honest with you than any other dude you would date. Any other dude, oh, yeah, I love kids. Oh, yeah, marriage is good. <laughs> like, they, they'll say anything, but these guys are saying, look, I have talent, and I want to see where that talent can take me, and that's not a two-lane street. That's yeah. a one-way street, and it's a motorcycle, not a four-door sedan. There's no room on the back and I, I i respect that you know sarah and i were able to sacrifice and say hey when you work i won't when i work you won't and we were in a position where we were able to do that which was which was beneficial but that's you know maybe that's how we made it work. it's especially tough in this line of work because it's a lot of shiny things right like that life can feel very shiny and, and it can attract your attention especially when you're on set with very beautiful people especially when I you're I guess so but I I have buddies who are you know in tech and fix internet that that have you know seen their their spouse be in an affair you know mm. what I mean so pretty people are everywhere everywhere it's just you're either in it or you're not you, you guys it's, are both you guys are both that simple I've kissed pretty people I've kissed Way more women on camera than off camera. Like, it, it's not a thing. It, it's it's just my job. It's my work. I didn't even like all of them. You, you know what I mean? So it's like, <laughs> I respected them, but I didn't like all of them. It wasn't like, ooh, I get, to, I get to kiss Rachel Lee Cook. No, that was our scene, and we, you know, did our scene. I'm How do still... you kiss someone you don't want to kiss? 
It's, it's your job. How do you interview someone you don't want to interview? You know I try I mean? to find something interesting about everybody. All right. Well, that's what you do as an actor. You find something about the character that yeah. you love and you focus on that and not the person and then you party on. You know, like pretty much every guy around my age had a giant crush on your wife growing up. Of course. And guys outside <laughs> that generation too. Like <laughs> they still older, do. Older, creepier ones. <laughs> but I guess at the same time, there was a lot of women around that age who had a giant crush on you too. Yeah. But again, it, you still do. You're either, all I can say is you're either in a relationship or you're not. Mm. And I'm in a relationship. So it's, it's pretty, it's pretty easy. I, I've never had a good answer to, to these kind of questions because that's just not a life that I live. And look yeah. at my history. You can see, like, I can count on both hands how many clubs I've been to. In my life, how many nightclubs? In L.A., New York, Las Vegas, Paris, London, Australia, all combined. I can count on two hands. Nine. That's the number. I'm 47. <laughs> I don't think I'll see double digits in nightclubs. That wasn't my life. We could go make it happen tonight. You've never seen me go to rehab. Drugs isn't a part of my life. Yeah. You've never seen me deal with alcoholism because it was in my life, my family's life, and I never wanted that, so I stayed very, very disciplined. The, the people who helped raise me were, were very disciplined men and women. Uh, one was Bob Wall, who I think you and I have even discussed before. Yeah. He, he was my godfather. He passed away last year. These men didn't play games. They didn't, they didn't raise assholes. They, they raised humble, disciplined, confident young men and women. My god sisters are gangsters, man. Like... They see something and they, they kill it. My, my, my youngest god sister uh, had her own coffee shop that she financed. She got the loan. She did everything at 19 years old. At not, or sorry, t at 21 years. She was wow. 21 years old. And that's to have the guts to do that and the confidence to do it well. And by the way, it's still there today. She sold it, but it's still there today. Like yeah. these are these are, are, are disciplined people. They're not just people that, that dream. They're people that go out and figure out how to accomplish that dream. Ask questions, shut up and listen. When someone has more experience than you, be quiet. Ask mm -hmm. a question and be quiet. And don't, don't say things like, oh yeah, I know, I know, because you don't know. Shut up and be humble and learn. And mm -hmm. it wasn't, they weren't mean, they were saying mean things to me, they were just strict. And nowadays, they'd be called abusive. You know what I mean? Like, oh, he's so mean. Like, all right, well, if you like me, you would definitely like him because he helped raise me. Yeah. You know what I mean? If you don't like me, then you probably wouldn't like him <laughs> because he raised me.